Yes, you are now tuned in to G4 TV. This is Charlie Tuna. You are watching Freestyle 101. About to watch me in the booth. Shut it down. Respect. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Yes. Testing. One, two. My name is Charlie Tuna. Yeah. J5. Yeah. Ozo Motley. Yeah. Galactic. Yeah. G4. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Charlie Tuna in this place. One. Time. Let me tell you. Let me space one. Rhyme in your face, son. Yeah. And when I come, I embrace one or two or three of y'all. Hey. But then again, I. Let me tell you that I run like Bruce Jenner. Or said I say Jenner. <laughs> no beginner. Yeah. Hey. I spin just like a spinning top. Hey. And as I spin, I don't stop. Yeah. Freestyle off the top, yeah. For the channel Freestyle 101 G4 TV. Yes, it's begun now. When I come freestyle, <laughs> just spitting all the while. The words might intertwine, they might match, they might repeat. But yo, you can't catch the fish. Ah, so watch that hook. Yeah, tune the fish is about to take a look. Yeah. Hey, turn the pages of the book and don't be shook Cause it goes like For your further enjoyment On some more murder, your boy script Rappers flee and sit up under the tree While all the toys sit at Christmas time Spit with the mind of the sickest kind Got midgets in line for my tickets Down the ticket trying to see my show Stop and stare with the aqua glare Watch the coppers tear through your rock of wear Enough strength to stop a bear in his tracks More green than the spinach patch Women give me love like a tennis match Within this rap With a mic and a tennis rack I beat your business back to your old like like agent k you men in black i'm in the winners brag bully style snapping your suspenders back fully powerful bring independence back that rap by everyone admired running hide when the gun is fired while my metaphors are mummified there's resistance in the distance player i feel the force like my twin sister's name was princess leia the consensus saved my sentences to travel vast distances to leave no witnesses when facing wickedness forget this is a open matter cloak and dagger to your broken swagger faking like your vocal pattern soaked in batter skinny cat with the semi pack known to kill the toy windy city black indiana jones from illinois brother spit out the slaughter put your click out of order charlie tune up Man, to be in the fish out of water, now let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Chicago originally, and I moved to LA in 86. The time that I first heard like freestyling itself, what really kind of got me into um, rap, which was uh, a couple of friends of mine, a guy named Eric and a guy named Dale. These guys were like freestyle kings in the neighborhood that I was from in South Side Chicago in the sense that it was like, I mean, we weren't looking at it as freestyle at the time, but it was like they would crack jokes in rhyme form in front of everybody, you know what I'm saying? They'd bust little raps and, you know, pick whoever they're going to pick and just pick on them and get them, right? So one night I was the, the blunt of the joke and uh, it was a, uh, a bunch of girls around and one in particular that I was in love with named Tosh. I was in love with this girl. And I just got embarrassed. This dude embarrassed me to the to the nine about, you know, my clothes and youngster this and oh, you know, because they was older than us. So I felt real bad. The girls laughing, blah blah. I was so salty that I went home, and I was like, you know what? I might not be able to think on one of those things off the top, but I'm gonna write something and memorize it just for this dude. So I sat and I wrote like a big paragraph and memorized it, just aiming and poking fun at, at, at the dude Eric, because Eric was the one who really was getting at me. So I was like, all right, cool. So summer went on, you know, a month or so went past and got a chance. The exact same scenario, you know, they busting rounds in front of the girls and I'm walking over there about to be the target. So they started it on me. I was like, ha ha, cool. I was like, all right, man, can I get one? They was like, you can't rap. I was like, yes, I can't watch. And I spit what I wrote. And the crowd was like, oh, the girls was all happy. I kind of felt like I got my revenge. And the feeling that I got is the bug that bit me from there. I just was like, oh, let me try this again. I kept going. The first time I ever heard professional dudes freestyle or, or cats who are like MCs actually who are taking it serious freestyle, I moved to California. My mom let me like go and just explore Hollywood Boulevard. So I was like, all right, cool. And I was out there just like walking around and checking things out. There was a crowd and these two dudes were battling back and forth, right? 
It's one light-skinned guy just standing there kind of with his mouth like whatever, looking at the dude. And the other dude was going for it. He was, you know, he was sounding cool. He was going for it though, you know, like really putting his heart into it. This other dude was just standing there like whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, man, is this dude like gonna be whack or is he just that good to where he, he got the confidence that he's just looking at? It turns out that this dude was amazing. He slaughtered that. And when it was his turn, he slaughtered the dude. And everybody in the crowd kept calling this dude Microphone Mike. And I'm like, who is Microphone Mike? Who later turned out to be Mike and I from Freestyle Fellowship. So that was like my first time really seeing it like eight mile style, so to speak. You know what I mean? So what separates Los Angeles' underground from I guess the rest of the world, so to speak, is just the level of talent, first and foremost. It's a gang of talent here. This place being the, the mecca of entertainment, so to speak. A lot of talent here. There's a lot of talent born here. There's a lot of talent that kind of migrates here. Two, it became almost a movement that paralleled jazz. I mean, all of the different phases that jazz went through, the commercial aspect of jazz, the, the stuff that was being accepted on a commercial level, would would say, would, I guess, quote unquote, be the gangster stuff. You know, what I mean? and all of the other innovative things that were going on in, in between the, the thought provoking jazz, the the, the 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 free form stuff, all of this th stuff that was really artistic, is kind of parallel to what was going on on the underground level here in Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Whereas like the Bay Area kind of had that same thing too, but it was influenced by another different climate of stuff that eventually turned into like the hypey music, the hypey movement, and stuff like that. New York had. It's its own climate, whereas New York was kind of like the mecca of hip hop. It kind of became, it kind of went full circle, kind of, to where New York started to look for its inspiration elsewhere. The South, uh, Los Angeles, as far as like even the gang situation in New York is crazy. To go out to New York and see Bloods and Crips, that trips me out. You know, being living in LA for forever, but it just goes to show you the influence. You know what I mean? So I think um, the originality probably the biggest thing that separates itself from the rest of the world's underground scene. <laughs> you know what I mean?